As you guys just saw, my starting point on the restoration, much rust on the old uh, chassis. Definitely some uh, mice in here back in the day. Just taking time to document the first IF transformer. And uh, that's the second IF transformer mounted underneath, not in a can. I think uh, one of my viewers asked that question. And uh, here I'm just removing the uh, transformer because I'm going to clean up the uh, wire lead dress. And of course the uh, can as well. Get rid of all the uh, crud on the exterior of the uh, protective can in addition to the uh, variable uh, capacitors inside as well. The old grid lead there. Looks like I'm going to need to uh, snip it off there. Again, that uh, feeds over to the 6K7 IF amplifier. And the part numbers there on the side. I'll probably look at reproducing those. Should be able to pull this uh, transformer out now. And not too bad inside, considering. Now the top side here, you can see where the adjustments are. Uh, not so good, but uh, we get to clean up just fine, I believe. Let me get my supplies out here on the bench so we can get started uh, rebuilding this thing. First step, just getting the uh, trimmer screws removed. And uh, of course I'll be looking for the uh, pieces of mica as well. And you can see one piece of the mica that resided on the uh, back side of the flat washer is uh, broken or compromised. I think there's uh, two layers, so not a big deal. And just prying up the uh, tab here so I can access the uh, other piece of mica that resides between the uh, two plates to form the uh, capacitor itself. And just taking my time here to uh, remove the uh, piece of mica. Very fragile. I've got some uh, spare mica, but nothing, I don't believe, in this particular size. And uh, there we have it. You can see there. It's uh, on the uh, blue shop towel. So uh, one piece removed, and I'll just use some alcohol in just a moment and clean that up. And we can remove the uh, second set screw and follow the uh, same process here. Again, just taking my time to uh, remove the other piece of uh, mica. And there we go. I'm going to use some uh, crud cutter to do the uh, rust removal here on the plates. You can see me applying it to the top side with a uh, Q-tip. And then I'll be doing the same thing in between the uh, plates itself. I'm actually leaving some of the crud cutter on after I do the initial uh, rust removal. That will act as a rust inhibitor for a period of time as well. And using a little bit of the crud cutter with a Scotch Bright Pad 7448. And then again, I'm going back and uh, putting my final coat of the uh, crud cutter on to use as a rust inhibitor. And then finishing up trying to get the rust off of the uh, fastener that holds the uh, coil back to the can itself. 
you can see the uh, trimmer adjustment screw with the uh, pieces of mica then the uh, flat washers I'm going to uh, try to save those but most likely I'll just replace those they're uh, fairly uh, pitted up And just removing the uh, final pieces of mica off of the uh, second set screw for the trimmer adjustment of the IF transformer. Just trying to be cautious with it. And I'll go ahead and soak uh, both of these fasteners. And again, in this case, I'm going to just use a little bit of uh, crud cutter, the must for rust. And uh, tilt it on the side, leave it for about 30 minutes or so, and I'll come back and uh, use the Scotch Bright pad. And then I'll coat those as well, let it dry to act as a uh, rust inhibitor. You can see I've got the alcohol out, just cleaning the uh, mica sheets. Again, I'm not going in both directions. You can see I'm pulling the uh, Q-tip away from me just so I don't drag it and uh, catch the uh, end and snap the uh, mica sheet in half, which I've uh, done in the past. I'll go ahead and flip this thing over and uh, repeat the uh, same process for the uh, other side. You can see I've got my uh, lead dress out. Just using some uh, pushback wire and uh, just using a Sharpie with some alcohol and uh, color coating uh, the leads accordingly. I'm actually going back and closely matching the original documentation. One little trick here you can see to get a, a good coat, just take some alcohol and uh, rub it over the uh, cloth. I can close any gaps. You can see that coming off on my gloves. But uh, it seems to work well. And there's the uh, transformer now with the uh, new lead wires cut. About one inch longer than the originals that um, I removed. And just using the scotch Bright pad again, soaked in some of the uh, crud cutter the must for rust and uh, just light pressure. There's a lot of pitting on the uh, top side of the can where the uh, looks like the mice spent some time back in the day. So uh, I think it's going to clean up pretty well. And then to uh, finish things off using some uh, Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. Reinserting the uh, pieces of mica now back in the uh, little trimmers and uh, just taking my time there to be cautious and uh, I was successful doing so and I'll do a preliminary alignment in uh, just a moment you can see the uh, what's left on the top side of the chassis for uh, de-rusting in a quick test now, looking at inductance and DC resistance of the uh, primary coil itself, followed by the uh, secondary side of the uh, coil. So everything seems to be uh, looking good. Again, I don't have any documentation, but this looks uh, correct. And just a rough adjustment out of circuit and also checking the uh, polarity of the uh, winding itself. So there we have it. Ready to be uh, reinstalled once I get to that point in the restoration. You can see that one tab to fastener is uh, broke loose. So I may uh, reattach that as well. More to come soon.